We've got a scale and we have the brand new set of Pokemon 151. We are going to be testing it today and I'm going to show you all if you can weigh the newest set of Pokemon cards to find the best hits and all that stuff. Let's get this ETB open, grab the packs out, and we'll let the science begin. So we do get nine packs in the ETB. We are going to be weighing all of them and seeing if we can weigh those hits. It is actually the release date of 151. As I am doing this video, it is Friday. Snorlax promo right here. This is the best centered one I've got yet. This one actually could be potential 10 right here. The other ones I've opened so far, I've opened two or three ETBs for other videos and stuff. And it just seems like those Snorlax promos are hard to get centered. So that's exciting to get that. But here we go, y'all. This is how it works if you are new to this series. We do this with every single set. We've got our scale. This thing is gonna tell us what we wanna see. So we want it to be 50 MG or 50 G or whatever. So it's accurate. We are just going to weigh these packs out. Got our handy dandy Sharpie and we'll write the weights on there and actually see if Scarlet and Violet is weighable. So you put it on there like that, 22.39. We'll take our pack and we'll write 22.39 on it and then we'll put them in piles lightest to heaviest and I will show y'all the results. Let's just go ahead and speed montage weighing out all of these packs. All right, so I've got a few different piles of stuff here. We've got them all labeled now. So on our farthest left, we're going to have our lightest pack, 22.37, 39, and 39. Over here, we have 0.40 and 0.40. Over here, we have 0.48 and 0.45. And last but not least, we have a 0.50, which can probably actually go with this pile right here. And then we have an oddball super heavy one, 0.64. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with our lightest packs and get into our heaviest packs. I, I already did this with... Um, Obsidian, Paldea, and I got a few comments that was saying like in Obsidian, I found that it was a lot harder to weigh than other sets, but people were commenting that like there's some way to do it with lighter cards to actually go with the SIR. I don't know in the experiment I did, I wasn't able to see that, but I don't know, maybe, but hopefully we can see something better here. A Jinx EX coming out of that super light pack, so that could be a good sign that this set is not weighable. We don't want to see the sets weighable, and the reason I said that, it's going to be the same reason every single time, guys, especially for y'all watching. This is why I do these videos, by the way, is for y'all watching, so y'all can make more informed decisions on who y'all buy with. You definitely want to buy with somebody trusted. If a set is weighable and somebody that y'all have shot with before i know that there's some people that don't like this series because i am like kind of teaching people how to weigh the packs but guys if people you know if people are selling and they're scamming and selling weighed packs they don't need my video to teach them they they're gonna know how to do it anyways so this is really just an informative video for y'all to make better decisions on who you purchase with so another light pack right there we get an aerodactyl out of it and guys i will just go ahead and say this aerodactyl is literally like one of the coolest holographic cards i've seen in forever i absolutely love it and I do also want to say, like, the reason y'all can know I'm doing this for you and not for, like, any, you know, other type of reasons, this hurts me. Th these type of videos hurt me because, um, like, I just want y'all to think about it from a seller perspective. I have my own shop, shinyvert.com, and I just started getting into selling sealed packs with the Scarlet and Violet era. So I have, like, Obsidian Flames on there. Uh, I have 151. I've got all this stuff. Now, if we do this experiment and this happens to be weighable and y'all have never shopped with me before, chances are you're not going to shop with me. But, you know, it is what it is. I just want to hopefully hopefully this helps build some kind of trust with me that that y'all would know that i wouldn't weigh the packs and sell them hopefully hopefully i know that like it could be looked as it, it could be looked upon differently which always does make me second question doing these videos but i personally as a consumer would definitely want to know if the sets are weighable so i do hope that some of y'all enjoy seeing these type of videos and i do hope it helps you all right so out of our three lightest packs, we did get an EX, 
but that's not enough that's not enough information yet so here's our point 40s these are these are like a tiny step up but they're not too much heavier than the lightest ones i would still probably put these in the light category i'm expecting if these are weighable maybe an ex card maybe uh maybe an uh, illustration rare I keep trying to say art rare for the for the English set it the IR AR it all confuses me Gyarados hollow so as of right now it might not be looking too good it might be looking like this set could be weighable which has been a reoccurring theme with the entire scar scarlet and violet era but this guys like I'm, I'm telling you if the sets are weighable you really really do have to be careful who you shop with especially especially being that this set doesn't have any sleeve packs because how we've seen the weighing work with stuff in the past now is that it has to be from the same product ghastly Moltres, nothing not even a shiny energy out yo what's going on with this etb maybe, maybe hey they all could be in the back so if we take these packs right here right and we weighed all the like let's just say this set is completely weighable i weigh all these packs and then open another etb and mix all the packs together well, let's say this set is weighable and this .64 is heavy and does have a hit in it. That's for this box. So this is only heavy compared to this number. But in the other box, for example, uh, .40, which didn't have any hits in it just now, might be the heaviest packs in that other box. Hopefully that makes sense. I know that was probably a little bit confusing. But um, that's why I'm saying if this set is weighable, it greatly affects Scarlet and Violet because all all the products in scarlet and violet are boxes like you don't have those hanging blisters and stuff so technically people could be weighing this set with any product so you just need to be careful if this thing is weighable and it's not looking too good right now we are getting into our heavier packs now um zubats ghastly vaporeon and a hollow and an energy what was that one what, what was the pack weight on that so that was a 0.50. So technically this 0.48 probably shouldn't have anything in it either. And then we have 0.45. I don't know. I'm, it's a little sus. It's a little sus that uh, we got that EX in the beginning. But uh, as always, I'm on the team that I hope this set is not weighable. I think it's a lot more fun for Pokemon in general. And then, you know, small businesses that do want to sell, then you don't have to worry about trusting them. Or if it's somebody you bought from before, Grimer and a Beedrill, man, we are just not getting anything out of this ETB. This is rough. Okay, 0.45 again. This probably shouldn't have a hit as well, but then that would mean that our ETB only has the EX card and then potentially that last pack, and then it's going to be hard to know if this thing's actually weighable, and we might have to do a follow-up video on this. Tauros, Kadabra. Kadabra has made its return. Bulbasaur, Dratini and oh my oh my god a Mew freaking EX this thing is absolutely gorgeous holy moly it's hard to say though because it's hard to say because technically this should have not had a hit in it especially because the other pack was heavier and we see this come out of the 0.45 and we did not see a hit come out of the 0.48 now something we have noticed in the past is when we have a super uh a super super heavy pack like this like this is much heavier than anything in the box leads me to believe if this is weighable there should be a double hitter in this pack so there should be two hits maybe uh an art rare and a full art i don't know it could be anything but it leads me to believe that there are two hits but um yeah i hope this you know i hope this video teaches y'all something if you want to see me do this with any other 151 products let me know in the comments if we need a follow-up on this let me know in the comments or if you have any info on this please feel free to share it with others because i do think people should be informed please drop a like subscribe charmander okay so no double hitter but will there be something in that back slot and there's not yo that's actually a really really good sign guys so i think that honestly i know it's only one etb so it's hard to say y'all let me know if we need a follow-up video that looks like it was absolutely not weighable and and my god i like the mule but we got wrecked on on hits in that etb not one not one single shiny energy not one art rare no sir yeah that was a rough etb hope y'all enjoyed if you want to see any other sets getting weighed you can click on this video right here or you can view our whole playlist where we keep all of our weighed experiments up there happy 151 hope y'all are getting your chase cards and i'll see you in the next video peace